What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We got a review for you today. A fun one that I sent Garrett. I sell him and told him what it is. I'm going to tell him right now. This is true. It's a first reaction. First reaction. So let's do a sniff test and I'll tell you. I want you, I just want to know if you, because it's a rye, which you don't really care for um, as much, you're getting better. But, uh, and then I'll tell you what it is. Okay. I've never said this before, I don't think, but I'm getting like a milky nose. I'm not even sure Interesting. if that's a thing, but uh, a creamy. It, it's, it smells like there's a creaminess to it. Well, it is finished in a port barrel. So that's also. Okay. It comes from Utah. Oh, hi, West. Ding, 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 ding. Midwares Night Dram, limited engagement. Um, act 10, scene four. Okay. The, it drinks better than immediate citrus. It drinks better than it noses. But also, I am a little under the weather again because I don't know how to stay in America. <laughs> this is very true. So, uh, love Midwares Night Dram. Act 10, this is the recent year, this past year's. But absolutely love that they do this every year and it has been one of my favorite ones to hunt every year and i love it um i get dark chocolate caramel a little bit of honey on the end um that's what i think is so great about it it like you were just saying it doesn't taste and doesn't smell like nose like a true rye um but you still at the end once you're finished drinking and you're sitting around you still get that rye kind of spice at the end yeah, it's kind of very, I, I agree with you on the dark chocolate part. Um, that's very upfront. I, there's a, a Christmas candy, but I just can't think of the name of it. But it's like an orange ginger dark chocolate thing. And it could yeah. be just something I had at Christmas. It might not even be a Christmas candy. Um, yeah. However, it reminded me of that. As well as the, the back palate finish is unique in the aspect of I'm not getting a lot of rice spice. Like it's balanced. Mm -hmm. It's very balanced. It's very balanced. You had this though, right? Or one of these. I had the other one. The other one. You had the, um, not the limited engagement. You had the encore. Yeah. Um, so I have not yet had the encore. I haven't even found it. I don't think it ever dropped here in Texas. This really didn't technically drop here. Um, so. I it definitely it. has a more of an oily. I don't want to say oily. Uh, it coats though. It coats, and I, you know, it's more of a sugary coat. I want to say than like it's pleasant. Oh, it's. Um, I agree with you. It's. It has become one of my favorite um, limited releases that pretty much any of the distilleries do because of how easy it is to drink. As you can tell, I have actually had more of this bottle than any of my other ones. Um, granted, that's because a lot of times when people come over, they want to try it and let them try it, but also on the fact that it, I've just been drinking this because it's that easy to drink. Uh, can't say enough good stuff about it. Um, coming in, you know, almost at 100 proof, 98.6. But what do you think, Garrett? Would this be something you would buy if you could get it at retail? Definitely. I, um, you know, even when I had the uh, one earlier this, or I guess last year now, uh, I thought it was probably one of the better rides I had of uh, 2022. But I do think it's well worth it from my experience if I were to find it at retail. Um, what's retail actually? I don't, even, I don't even know that. So retail's actually gone up. It used to be closer to like 120 some dollars. It's now around 140, um, which okay. I still don't think is horrible. I mean, for a limited release that they do once a year, it's it's not a it's not a bad price. I mean, in comparisonively speaking to other limited releases from other distilleries that go now upwards to two hundred dollars, I think this is pretty reasonably priced. Um, and I would love to go to Park City one year and stand in line and and get this and and go to the event. There's an event that they have every year for this re release. And I think it would be really cool to go to it because they just had the Boo Rye release. 
um, and the party there for that, which was really interesting. I did um, just take another sip, and as I allowed more air in, then I'm getting the licorice note that you would find common with the sunrise. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, very mild, and it, it took a lot more air on it for me to even get there. Other than that, I think it, it drinks pretty clean. I think this is the only one I would say I would have to drink and need. I don't think, I don't know, let me put it this way. I don't know if it would hold up well over ice or with a little bit of water in it. I haven't tried it. Um, water in right I now. Think it, I think it would dilute it a little bit too much because it's so easy to drink neat, but to each their own. Immediately, the nose is more floral. Less of that milkiness that I was getting before. And that's typical with rye. But then it, it turns super fruity. Like really? This, uh, tastes like a raspberry compote. Nice. With like the, like, I forget which one, spearmint. Mm -hmm. Like very, like the herbal note's fine. It's not a deterrent. It's an enjoyable flavor. But okay. I, I guess that's the floral that was coming through tastes like mint spearmint mm -hmm. um i'm gonna say it's not gonna be bad on cubes okay i mean i'm gonna say it, it like um uh, i like that although obviously it's gonna drop the proof but for sipping on a special night um or it would be for me obviously i don't crack open many rise and uh march through the night but who knows it could change good we might turn you into a rye guy after all, so we'll see. Um, but that'll do it for our review of High West. Um, absolutely love the Midwinter's Night Dram. Can't say enough good things about it. I think High West does a lot of really great products in general. Um, Garrett, take us home. Doesn't matter if you like it neat on rocks or in a Coke. Whiskey happens. Cheers. Cheers.